bounce at 19 minutes before 9 o'clock. We're delighted to have Chef Elizabeth Marquez here with us today from the Art Institute of Shaw. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing a lot better now that I see you brought something in here to eat. Oh, yeah. This is really good. Now, first of all, we're going to do... This is a take on shepherd's pie. Yes. Now, first of all, some folks aren't familiar with what shepherd's pie is. Tell us, what is shepherd's pie? Shepherd's pie is typically a braised dish with lamb, and you put mashed potatoes on top of it, and you bake it. Um, I'm using, today, I'm using short ribs instead of lamb, um, and you can use anything. You can use... Um, leftover pot roast, mm -hmm. anything like that. You can use leftover so, like ground hamburger too, could you? Yes, I mean, you it's could. real. It's just mm -hmm. a, it's a taste preference, but this yeah. is more traditional, I think, mm -hmm. to do it like this. But you, this is a whole different take, though, on right. shepherd's pie. Usually, you're putting in a in a big dish, one of those corning dishes or whatever. Mm -hmm. big, but you've got something that really goes along with the fall atmosphere, with mm -hmm. Halloween and all. So right. tell us a little bit about this. Okay. Well, what I did was I took a carnival pumpkin. Carnival pumpkin. Right. It'll turn nice and orange. Oh. Right. And I hollowed it out, just like this. All right, we got that. So you yeah, take that. What, what do you do with the innards? Because some people, you know, can you make a pie out of that? Can, of the uh -huh. innards of these little these little pumpkins? Um, I use the seeds for roasting, right? Oh. You can use those for garnish mm. in a soup or such. That's good. Um, this is edible, so when you eat the shepherd's pie, you can eat the whole thing except for the skin. Except for the skin that's right. on the outside there. So right. you're just cutting that off. Cutting it and off. And you're taking it and spooning it all out. Okay, mm -hmm. so then what happens next? And then I roast it. So, so, oh, about. you roast it before you put anything in it, first yes. of all. Yes. So how long are we roasting it for? What do, what do you need to do to roast it? Well, I, I brushed it with a little bit of oil mm -hmm. and then salt and pepper. And then I roasted it for about 45 minutes um, at 350. At 350? So that it gets nice and soft and you can tell. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, just like when you're checking mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. right? Do you put any spices or anything <clears throat> on it while you're doing that? Or can you? You can. Um, yeah. I I used just salt and pepper salt because and pepper. I was going to have the flavor in the, the ah, rest of the food. Okay, okay. Um, so then, what we have next, we have our ingredients. Right. So we want to show that. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold that up to this camera right, right here so you can see what this is. This is so this is here. Right. Those are short ribs, and I and I braised them in the oven. Yeah. Um, I included the leftover meat from the pumpkin mm -hmm. when I cut it oh, off. okay. So it has pumpkin in it as well. Oh, wow. And then... And then these are mashed potatoes. Yeah. So what we're going to do then is we're going to take the, the filling, put it in there. Okay, so... Um, we top take, it with the mashed potatoes. Okay, I'm going to let you do that because I'll get it all over the place when <laughs> yeah. you do. But you just, you put you it... You just oh, put it right. in there. Yeah, oh, that is... Um, and if you do this hot, then it doesn't take so long to heat up. Right, it doesn't. And then you have your mashed potatoes. I get right. You could use garlic mashed potatoes. Right. You could use all sorts of... The <clears throat> oh, that's good stuff there. Now... What you can do is you can also cook some of the pumpkin and put it in a piping bag with the mashed potatoes and have a swirl. Yeah, that's... So that it looks really nice and pretty. I'm going to do... I'm going to show this here to this camera because I want everybody right. to see exactly how that looks. That is so beautiful. So how do you make that? You put it in a piping... A uh, piping bag. A piping... Because it looks like icing it? almost right. right there. Oh. Right. Chef Elizabeth so, Marquez, thank you so much. Right. This is wonderful. We're going to get mm -hmm. this recipe on WBTV.com. Yes. This mm -hmm. is a wonderful treat. We're looking forward so, to making that. Ooh, I could eat it right now. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. And thank let's you. turn it over to meteorologist Al Conklin now. He's